So what happens when we want to place some detail views in our model space when we're working with that particular project where all our drawings and our title blocks are in the model space, in the model tab? Well, it's a similar process to placing detail views in the layout tab. However, what you can do is you can scale up accordingly straight away in your one-to-one -one model space environment. So if I go to the Home tab here, again the detail is here on the Draw Tools panel. So I click on Detail View and come into the drawing area. Now the default is actually a circle. So what I'm going to do is place a circle first. So I'm going to use the midpoint snap on that angled face just there. So it's a shift and a right click and midpoint. So I go to that midpoint snap just there and click. Now as I come out, that circle that I place is actually going to cross some of the dimensioning I've got in place already. So I'll just bring that in. Make sure it encompasses all of the area that you want to show as the detail. And I'm going to specify by absolute scale there and make my detail 2.5 times its original size. I'm going to have the view name A and I'm going to have an annotation leader coming off of the actual base view. I'm going to detail that in the current space and OK it right there. So there's my circle and as I come out now look I can place my circle just there, place the detail view and there it is. Now the text has been automatically placed above it and it shows it as view A 2.5 to 1 as the ratio. I can click on that text, click on that grip and just drop it just there underneath the view and hit escape to deselect. Now the problem I have there is those dimensions now are clashing with my detail circle and my little annotation line coming out to the A there. So what I'll do, I'll go to modify and power erase. So I'll select that five dimension there and that one there, right click to confirm. Now I used Power Erase because that deletes the AutoCAD Mechanical Intelligent objects, not just the standard AutoCAD objects. But look how much clearer that detailed base view is now. And then what I would do is I would go to the Annotate tab here, and then I would Power Dimension from, let's say, here to here, and click. There's my 5 there. I'm just going to click on OK there. We'll look at Annotation later on. And then I'll come in here, click, and click, and drag that way and there's my five there, and then it's just an enter, and then escape to finish. So you can see there that I've taken those dimensions from there so that they're not clashing with the base view of my detail view. I can do the same there with the sectional view. I'll just pan upwards a tiny bit there. Same process, but let's look at placing a rectangle this time. So it's back to the Home tab, Draw Tools panel, and Detail View. What I'll do now though, instead of center of circle, I'll right click and select rectangle there on the shortcut menu. First point of my rectangle is going to be there, click, drag it around the area I want to detail, click. Same process, specify by absolute scale. I'm going to stick with 2 to 1 this time, but look, it's picked up the fact that I've already got a view name of A and immediately gone to view name B. I'll have an annotation leader again like I did with the circular base view. I'll detail in the current space and OK that. There's my view there. I'll drop it in just underneath A there. Notice the text looks a bit screwy, no problem. Click on it, click on the grip, just drop it underneath the view there and hit escape to deselect. There's the B there. Now you'll notice that these scale areas have got those red boxes around them. Now the good thing is those will not appear in my plot preview. Let's just prove that quickly. I'll right click on the model tab there and go to plot. I'm just going to set this up as a DWG to PDF quickly, like so. I'll make sure it's on a full bleed ISO A3, which is the sheet size, so 420 by 297. What to plot? I'll go to window there and I'll zoom out. So I'm going from that corner of my drawing sheet in the model space to that corner of my drawing sheet. I'll just do a quick preview of that. And you'll notice that none of those scale area lines actually show up. That's because they're switched off automatically in the mechanical layers. So if I just right click and exit there and come out and cancel that plot command, let's click on one of those, right click and go to object properties. What layer is it? It's actually the layer AM views. You can see that in the properties palette. If I close the properties palette, 
and go to the mechanical layer manager you'll see there if I scroll down AM views there can you see it's got a red line through it saying that it doesn't plot as you can see there non replicated so it only shows it in the drawing it doesn't actually plot it so I'll cancel that there for now so the good thing is those scale areas and any viewpoints from those scale areas will not plot so that's how you create your detail views in your model space like so and also I've just quickly shown you there that those scale areas do not plot that also applies in your layout tabs as well